Oh, Oscar's getting a special treat today. It's a water bottle with a tea bag in it. I think because it's cold, it's not actually really going to make tea. I don't know. It's starting to look like dirty water. We'll see what happens. What up, Mal? I got the wrong size. I had to uh, electrical tape that on. Dandy. What's up, YouTube? Today, we got the 8-foot landscape rake loaded on the 16-foot trailer. And we're about to head over to Wayland's because Wayland decided to jump out of his tractor yesterday and most likely broke his foot or ankle or something in that region. Well, this is the maiden voyage for this trailer. I bought it off my neighbor a month, month and a half ago. I was over visiting him and he, uh, he just asked if if he knew anybody would want to buy his trailer, it had been sitting there for a while. It needed four new tires, needed a, a jack stand. Um, it's eventually going to need some boards, but they're not too bad. And I had to put in two. I'm looking back there, seeing the dust, wondering huh, if that's smoke or anything. You need a new wheel bearings and you know a few other things. So, well, I went ahead and bought it. It was a good deal and it's the stuff that I'm able to do, so we'll see how she does. I think it's gonna be fine. I can't imagine why it wouldn't, but anyways, it's her first ride on the road in several years. Anybody who knows Waylon knows he's always busy, he always has something going on, and with uh, with him hurting his foot, being at the doctor this morning, there's, uh, there's no telling how long it'll be before he can actually do the things that he usually does. So, since I don't really have anything going on right now, I'm gonna head over here and I'm gonna help him out just a little bit. He said I could carry him to the tractor, but I thought it'd be more fun to go over there and just do it. <laughs> Road is so dusty right now. Everything's still so dry. But it looks like Wednesday we got like an 80% chance of rain. I mean, I've been fooled before, but I'm really hoping and praying that that's gonna happen because we need some rain. I'm tired of dry. You get tired of rain when it rains all the time. You get tired of dry when it's dry all the time, but you know. Still looking for that fair to Midland. I can hear a bulldozer in the distance. Way out there in the little clearing. Making pasture. Oh crap, I did not expect that. Huh. Well, maiden voyage. Got us a gaper there. Well, it's on. I saved you guys having to see that happen because that was terrible. Like, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but I had to lift it up because I didn't bring the block of wood that I usually keep underneath it. So, uh, one-handed or one man wasn't very easy. But we're here, Whalen's new house. What we're gonna do is a big pile of gravel over there. We're gonna put the bucket on so we can pick that up. We're gonna add it to a whole bunch of his driveway and you know different places that still need it. We're gonna smooth out that pile of dirt over there where the bulldozer couldn't get because it could crush septic tank or something, pipes, things like that. So now we gotta go hook the bucket on, which this is part of what we were gonna do the other day and never got to doing. Remember we went to bale hay, so. So today, we're gonna get to get that done. Is everyone excited?
you like it with grit, it works, I guess. I didn't expect that at all. Not exactly sure how I'm going to discern between that and a spit bottle, other than it being cold and full. And I guess the way that it tastes. I'm sure. Woo. It's like 95 degrees outside, and it sucks. Waylon's home. He's got torn ligaments for all the inner ligaments or something like that in his leg, but it's not broken. We still can't use it for like four weeks. So, uh, yeah, he's in bad shape. Well, I'm really wishing I had me a dump truck right about now. And I'm making trips back and forth up here in the corner is where it gets kind of off camber. So I'm filling the low side with gravel because we're trying to get rid of this gravel. And, uh, and then leveling it out which if I had a dozer it'd be a lot easier I could just angle the blade until it straightened up and then climb on it and straighten it out but with this I've got to fill one side smooth it because it's like this fill that side like that smooth it out so that that way it's level surely you understand that it's really hot out there right now there's a lot of long trips back and forth lonely I'm glad I got you guys here to hang out with me if you didn't I, I don't, I'd probably fall asleep at some point this is not my tea the tractor drives itself this is my tea that's disgusting but I'm going to try it Tastes great. Wish there wasn't so many grounds in it. Tastes like a small little bunch of dips. Better slow this wagon train down. Now you can see where I'm filling in because it comes down here and then drops down and then drops down again. We're not going for level because we want water to run off of it. But this will keep you from going through here with an implement or something hanging off the side and you're crooked or you got stuff on a trailer and it's falling off. So uh, it's going to help out a lot. Once I can get all the way down this little low spot here and I get it all flattened out. I can take this rake and smooth it and it'll all look really nice. Or it should. That's that's the plan. Well, got it looking almost level. You don't want it quite level because you want the water to be able to run off of it. But that's gonna make it a lot easier and a lot more comfortable to come driving down this way. All right, guys, I guess that's it for today. I'm going to back this tractor up and park it. I'm going to jump in the Nissan, go grab old Cripplefoot, and I'm going to take him up there to, uh, to look at some dozer work on the, on the other hill over there. Uh, 
See the park this thing. It's so dusty. Alright guys, remember to pound that like button and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and God bless. Check you later. The eight foot landscape. Skibby. Skibby. Don't really know what I'm doing. The camera, my face. I think they'll bite you. Here, we'll dump a little bit. Take a dump. Have us no dumping. Just keep on talking. A little pinch of dip on the lens there. That ain't dip. It's like grease. Yep.